Again, good morning, grade 7. We are now in the introductory part or introductory um, lesson for computer 7. Right? Exploring your computer. What's with your computer? Okay. MS Windows Overview. Okay. MS stands for Microsoft. Microsoft Windows, or simply called Windows, is a family of graphical operating system. Operating system, meaning to say it's OS or the one that operates the computer, developed by Microsoft. The earliest computer like calculator did not have an operating system. Okay, since those computers were basic and they can only run in one task at a time, they cannot not actually do multitasking. Please turn on your camera. iPad OS, yes, OS, um, the iPad OS or the iOS is different. Okay? It, it is actually developed by Apple, Apple Incorporated. Okay. When computers improve, they need to have or the need to have a software that can manage hardware is called was called for. Okay. The General Motors company or GMC produced the first operating system in 1956 for IBM 704, 704 computer, okay? The IBM or the International Business Machine Corporation produced more computers and mainframes, which triggered with the development of the operating system. It's okay, it's okay. How about others? Where are your camera? Mariana, the rest, okay. All right, produce more computers and mainframes, which triggered the development of more operating systems. So it started with IBM, okay, the, the concept of IBM. Microsoft was founded in April for 1975 to develop and sell Inter interpreters, a basic computer program for early computers. Be before, those are interpreters, okay? Are you familiar with the interpreters? The, the box, I think uh, it looks like a computer, but uh, you can actually convert different languages. Okay, I saw this one when I was still in, I think, high school. I saw interpreters because I have some friends like Korean and Russian. They have interpreters. Okay, it looks like a computer, a small computer. It looks like a calculator actually that can actually translate their language to English. Okay, The personal computers became popular in 1980s, which led to the development and release of Windows 1.0. That's on November 20, 1985. Yes, Travis. If you know, uh, how did they like make it and program it? Okay, for the development of OS, they actually came with a particular program. Okay, yes, correct. They program it. The basic structure for the program is in Windows form. Remember that um, the iOS was created in a Linux base. This is higher now already. The Linux space, therefore, it has a different extensions. For the Windows, it was created by the programmers in different um in different file extensions like executable file, exe file, and all of those. Okay. Mac is in Linux form. It's in Linux form, but it was developed by Apple. And they created iOS and Mac OS. Macintosh. It's Macintosh. Okay, I'll put it in our GC or in our chat box. Macintosh. Okay, I know all of this simply because I am a computer technician since high school until now. That is why I, ins I install a lot of OS for operating systems in computers, laptops and even um, assembled pieces. 
Okay? Windows 1.0 is the first version of Windows family. Okay? It was a graphical multitasking operating system. Sure. What is multitasking? Okay. When you say multitasking, you can do two or more tasks at the same time, provided that your memory or the RAM or the random access memory can handle all of those in the same time. Just like what I'm doing here. Okay. I am opening now the browser, the Google Chrome, at the same time, projecting it in your Zoom application. So this is multitasking. Okay. Doing things at the same time, doing more, two or more things at the same time, or simultaneously, correct. Supported computer peripherals such as mice or mouse, keyboards, and printers. Note, though, that was, that is, that it was not the first operating system capable of doing so. From then on, several versions were released with generally improving performance and features. Okay, Windows 2.0 was released in December 1987. Windows 3.0 was released in 1990. Started what we know as window panes that can be freely dragged and placed on top of another. Are you familiar with Windows Paint? The, the Windows? No. Oh. Okay. All I know about is uh, Windows 10 and Windows 7. And i3, i5, i7. i3, i5, and i7, those are from those, those are processors, right? From Intel company. Because AMD has different also sets. Okay, so let's continue. Windows NT is a subfamily of Windows operating systems. It introduced the interface that we are familiar with now as improvements regarding computer resources were introduced. It started with Windows NT. This is now the family of the descendants, rather, of Windows 10, the one that you are actually into it. Okay. The first operating system under this family is Windows NT 3.1 released on July 1993, which was made for servers and workstations. Okay. I forgot. The... Okay. I started with Windows XP, actually. Okay, I started with Windows XP. Windows NT, I think um, I, I have touched one of those before, the later part, but on my time, it's Windows XP already. Made for servers and workstations. Windows XP, one of the most popular and most successful operating system of Microsoft belongs to the family or belongs to this family and was launched on October 25, 2001. This was the first also operating system that I installed by my own, the Windows XP Professional. I don't think so. Maybe, maybe some of the offices uses Windows XP as of the moment, but um, talking about Windows XP, it is actually not supported with Windows or, or Microsoft because of the versions, right? And some of the programs cannot run in Windows XP, especially the new ones. Do they say? No. There's no Windows XP in the market as of the moment. It's Windows 10 and coming Windows 11. By the way, um, for your performance tasks, if you're going to look at your module, please download your module. Huh? At the end of the module, you can see your performance task there. Okay, You are tasked to make a video presentation with narration of the history of Microsoft, starting from the very beginning until Windows 11. Right? That's a heads up. Windows XP don dominated the market for operating system during the time with over 1 billion copies by April 2014. It was able to release several editions. Yes, there are a lot of editions for Windows XP. We have Home Edition, yes, Professional Edition, the one that I installed. The first one I installed as a technician. Media Center Edition, etc. 
which targeted different audiences as they were programmed to contain features that are that are adapted to their respective audiences. A video, no, a video, your tasks to do a video presentation of the history of computers, Microsoft, the OS, the operating system, starting from the very beginning until Windows 11. Anyway, I'll be collecting that one at the end of first quarter. So because that is your performance task. Release in November 30, 2006. Okay. Windows Vista improved the visual design. Are you familiar with Vista? No. I installed also Vista before. Okay. Windows Vista improved the visual design of Windows operating system. It introduces a glass-like windows which allow transparent panes or transparent windows over other windows. Like for example, if you're going to open um, Google Chrome, the, the Google Chrome will have its window. That is the windows pane, okay? Transparent windows or transparent panes over other windows dubbed as Windows Arrow. Okay, I, I, I already installed this one. I, I, I tried installing this one also. However, Windows Vista was criticized negatively due to its usability and several bugs. There are a lot of bugs with Windows Vista, okay, which resulted to the faster release of new operating system in its family. Here comes Windows 7, the improvised Windows Vista, okay, improved where Windows Vista was criticized. It was released in October 22, 2009. Let me check on the chat box. And retain how the Windows Vista improved the graphical user interface or the GUI, but fixed most of the problems of its predecessor, the Windows Vista. Okay. Windows 7 is the improvised Windows Vista. Because there are a lot of bugs in Windows Vista. Like for example, when you're opening a window, opening a, a browser, it takes time for Windows Vista. There are a lot of concerns with Windows Vista, like um, auto shut off or auto close with some of the applications. And some of the applications has compatibility issues. Very slow, correct? It is very slow as of the moment. So I tried also using this one, Windows Vista. The popularity of touchscreen monitors, devices such as tablets and touchscreen laptop promoted or prompted the release of the operating system that is that will support these devices. Windows 8, okay, after Windows 7, Microsoft releases or released Windows 8 in October 26, 2012. To address the demand, it featured an entirely new user interface or graphical user interface, GUI, that introduced tiles. So Windows 8 is popular with the tiles, which are square, not transparent, or non-transparent panels that are easier to click, especially for touchscreen. So if you're going to look at your Windows 10, it has still tiles on it. That is actually came from Windows 8, okay? Windows 10, is the improvised, uh, improvised improved the, the, its predecessor and was released in July 29, 2015. This is now the updated version of Windows 8. Okay, it is integrated features or it has integrated features targeted for touchscreen while considering regular screens by introducing tablet mode and PC mode. So if you're going to look at your Windows 10, it has actually option, okay? It has actually options. If you want to use a tablet mode, then you can see all the, the tiles in your desktop, or you can use the PC mode or the personal computer mode. So you can see as is in your desktop, the, 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 um, the shortcuts in the desktop and all of those, okay? So the purpose why, why Windows 10 has this tablet mode for the com compatibility of those um, people using tablets. 
Okay? Coming to be released in the market is Windows 11. Are you familiar with Windows 11? Page 7? Okay. I am. Uh, I heard about it before. But it is not released yet. Not yet okay. released. It is not released yet. It is still under um, engineering. They are still using a prototype for this. But I already used some of those or some of the features. I installed once, but I didn't actually, I uninstalled it, replacing it with my Windows 10. Okay, Windows 11 is an upcoming major version of Windows 10 or Windows NT family operating system developed by Microsoft. Announced on June 24, supposed to be, with an expected release of late 2021. Okay, supposed to be, it will be released or they announces about this by June 24. And they want it to be released later part of 2021. Windows 11 is the successor Windows or successor of Windows 10, which was released last 2015. Windows 11 will be available as a free upgrade for compatible Windows devices to Windows Update if you have a license. Okay, again, you can update your Windows 10 to Windows 11 if it is in, available in the market if you have a license. But if your OS is in the cracked version, you cannot update it to Windows 11. Windows 11 is an upcoming major version of Windows NT operating system development Microsoft announced again and expected to release. So this is now the hierarchy. I didn't include by yet the Windows 11 because still it is not released in the public or it is not released in the market. So these are the logo of Windows family starting from Windows 1, Windows 3.1, Windows 95, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, and of course, Windows 10. Yes, talking about logo, no, if you're going to observe the logo, they are more likely minimalists. The more minimalist they are, the more, um, the more consumer can adapt to it. One good example is the Nike. Have you seen the logo of Nike? It is just checked. Okay, so as of the moment, they are minimalist. You know? A lot of companies are using minimalistic approaches. Okay, again, um, this is an introductory lesson. And to give you a heads up with what will be going, what are the things that be happening in the middle and in, and in the end of this quarter, your performance tasks is actually in your LMS. I will just project it na lang. Wait. Let me have this one. I will let you see. Can you see the um, the modules in your LMS? Let me check. Modules, modules. Yeah, I've seen it. There is. Okay. Let me share my screen. I will let you see your performance task. By the way, um, where are your camera, other, other students? I can only see here. Jairus, Travis, Sebastian, De La Cruz, Levi, or Levi. Orlando, Mariana. The rest don't have camera. Again, this will be considered as your attendance because I'll be submitting this one in your advisor and in the office. Sir, how do you uh how yes. do you pass your your modules handout copy? I kind of forgot. For online students, you need to answer. You, you need not to pass your modules, okay, for online. 
you need just to download your module that is your notes because those are your notes. What we're going to do for online is you'll be answering all the activities in the LMS. I'll be posting one at a time the activities in the LMS. Right? So for your performance task as a heads up, this is it. Wait, I will let you see. Can you see my shared screen now? Yes. Okay. Again, this is your getting to the motion or your performance task. Create a, three, a minimum of three minutes video presentation with narration that focuses on the versions and history of Microsoft Windows. You can add as more information as you want and include Windows 11. This should be done by online and offline students. Submit it in your LMS. Offline students has LMS also. So you need to submit it through your LMS. Okay. I'll be collecting this one at the end of the first quarter before the major exam. Okay. Criteria as follows. Accuracy, that's 25%. Inform, informative, if it is informative, it's 25%. Creativity, it's higher. That's 30%. And the narration, the clarity of the narration is 20%. A total of 100%. Right? This is all in all 50 points. Okay? Again, you can, you can add whatever you want as long as it is a minimum of three minutes. Okay? Minimum meaning to say it will, you can actually have more than a three minute video. It depends upon you. Okay. Again, the deadline would be um, the end of this quarter, the first quarter before the major exam or before the first periodical tests. Okay. Is that clear? All right. So as, as early as now, we need now to collate some of those and use narrations. Now, um, the format, it should be in a digital output. Video, if it is a video presentation, the format is dot .avi, dot .mp4, what else? Dot .mpeg, so those are the extensions for video, right? It is not in a PowerPoint presentation or PowerPoint slide. Sir, what is the purpose of having those? The purpose of having those is for exhibit purpose. We'll be exhibiting or we'll be choosing some of your outputs and exhibited it or we will have an exhibit for these outputs. All right? Am I making that clear? Okay. I think that's all for today, class. I think um, we already tackled the introductory part of the lesson. And let's, con let's continue by next meeting. Okay, if you have concerns, please raise it in our GC, or you can contact me directly in my messenger, my account, or in the LMS. Okay? Yes. Yes, Mariana. Where can I find, where can I find the uh, performance task? Because I cannot find it in my LMS. Where can you find the? The performance task, the one that's on the screen, because I can't seem to find it. Okay, the performance tasks, this one will be um, will be incorporated in your LMS. I think in the middle of the discussion, or in the end of the discussion. Okay, I will just put, I will just include it in your LMS, and all I have to do is to drag and drop drag and drop your um, file and submit it to me directly. So I, I can actually receive it after. Okay. Again, it will be incorporated, I think, in the middle or in the end, at the end of the lesson, the discussion. Okay. But the deadline, this will be um, at the end of the first quarter before the major exam, your first critical tests. Okay. Any other question? Before we go? No. Okay.
I think that will do for today's class. Thank you for your participation, grade seven. Hopefully by next meeting, other students will have their camera and their microphone so that you can interact, right? Again, if you have questions, please raise it in our GC or directly ask or, or contact me in my messenger and LMS. Have a nice day, grade seven. Goodbye. Take care and have your lunch. Bye-bye.